Hi sewing bees, I'm Suki and welcome to the Beehive. Today I'm really excited to be sharing this new product with all of you. My friends at Sew so Tights, Jessica and Jamie, they're the owners. They are sisters, they are best friends, they are business partners, and these are two very clever gals. They have come up with this really neat system. It's called the Sew so Tights Magnetic Cutting System. And honestly, I really do feel like it's gonna revolutionize the way that we do our cutting. And so I'm gonna be doing a few things in this video. First and foremost, we're gonna take a look at the box. Next, we're going to dive in what's inside the box and also how to use it. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about how this could benefit you. So let's get started. Let's first talk about this beautiful box. There is no doubt that a lot of thought went into it. It's definitely retail ready, meaning that if you go into a store and you see this for sale, you're gonna be able to literally just pick it up by the handle and bring it to the counter. I like the fact that it is beautiful and full color. They for sure took a lot of time thinking about it. There's also a QR code that you can scan this, that you can watch a video on how to use it. Um, it's gonna just be really great for you to carry it to class. I also like this because I personally am in a small space. I'm in an apartment and it's not very thick. You know, the whole thickness of it is just a couple of inches. It could easily fit behind a table or under my couch if I really needed to, or under my bed. So I like the idea that everything can fit inside here. Um, and it's just really pretty, you know? And uh, the last thing too is that, you know, I've said this before in my videos, but I have really weak wrist and I've had surgery in both my hands. So when I look at things like this, I wonder, okay, is it really heavy? So I actually weighed it and it's just around 11 pounds, which I can totally handle. So especially when I take my machine to class, um, my machine weighs more than 11 pounds. So I like the fact that the whole thing together is, you know, right around that 11 pound mark and it's all inclusive. Now let's take a look inside. The first thing that I notice is this little envelope, which is kind of like a welcome letter, just kind of talking about the safety uses and the warranty, any questions you may have, and then some just general use information, like making sure that you change your rotary blades often, don't leave it in a very hot or cold area or a car, which is of course really good tip for any rotary mat. And so just take a look at that once you get yours. And of course, we've got the QR code there once again. Next, I notice all this thick styrofoam that we have here that separates everything. I probably will eventually get rid of that. And I'm not sure I'll even keep it in this case. I think that I'll probably just keep it out and maybe put these in like a little container in my sewing space. But right now we've got the obvious things. We've got our cutting mat, and then we have our ruler, and then we have our magnets, which are, they're called the Sew Tight Boosters. So I'm gonna take all of this out so that we can take a closer look. Okay, let's talk about this mat. First off, I have to say that I noticed the heft of it. You can tell that there are many layers to it, and there's definitely like metal inside it. It is quite heavy, but I feel like if you're going to keep it in one place or, you know, move it to the side, it's not that big of a deal. But just so you know, it is definitely significantly heavier than a traditional cutting mat. Um, it measures 20 by 24. I know that one of the things I was reading is that they really wanted to make sure that a smaller mat such as this would work for a fat quarter, which totally makes sense because I think usually my smaller mats are only 18 inches. So this for sure will fit a fat quarter quite easily. And let me move the mat here so that you can see the whole thing. But yeah, with without a doubt, this will fit the mat with no problem. So for quilters who use a lot of fat quarters, or even if you're working with smaller projects, I mean, I don't, I'm not a quilter, but I do a lot of small projects where I don't need a big cutting mat. This actually would suffice quite well for me for most of what I'm cutting. Um, let's talk about the actual measurements though. It does measure from, for uh, 24 inches wide and 20 inches tall. And it is double-sided, so it's got a really pretty gray on one side, and I'm gonna flip it over to the darker side so that you can see here. 
and it kind of appears like it's a dark gray with almost like a light blue color. Um, the really obvious markings for, I think one of the things I like, because I've used other mattes, and sometimes a half inch is a little tricky to see. And here I can really see the half inch mark. I'm not having to like look for the little hash marks here. It's like a dotted line, almost like a stitch line. So it's kind of cool. And then it's got the direction for, if we flip it over in this direction, we have our half inch increments. So it goes up to the 24, but it's like, you know, got the half inch mark here and all the way up and same for the top to bottom. So yeah, I really like this. I'm not sure which side I would probably end up using the light side more. So let's flip it back over. Yeah, I feel like this might be a little easier to see, but it does fit that full fat quarter. Um, the markings do include the eighth of an inch, the quarter, the half, and then the full inch. I mean, it does have like five eighths, three quarters, and seven eighths as well, which is really great. And so now let's talk about how the ruler and this mat are best friends. All right, let's talk about the ruler. So just at a glance, it's six and a half inches by 24 inches. It's acrylic and it's got turquoise and black markings on it, which I find very easy to read. There are half inch markings, which again, I, I gotta say I really like that because if I do any garment making, I usually add a half inch seam allowance. And even with my serger patterns, I tend to add a half inch seam allowance. So this is really nice. I do like the markings, they're nice and clear. I have to say that the black with the turquoise lettering, at first when I heard about it, I, I, I didn't really know what to think, but for, for me now, I definitely like it, especially as I get older, <laughs> my sight's going. So I'm able to read these very clearly. I think this was really thought out well. And then, um, of course, it's got the eighth inch markings, the quarter inch, and then a couple of actual directional markings. It has a couple. It has a 30 degree mark, 45 degree mark, and a 60 degree mark. And it actually has that on both sides. So depending on which way you're, you're using your ruler, whether you've got it on the half inch side or whether you have it on the full inch side, but it does have those markings really clear. I do like the beveled edges. I can't say that I've ever had a ruler that had that before. I mean, maybe I did and I just didn't pay attention, but I have to say that it, it is really nice and easy to pick up. And of course, you know, with the markings, it's got six, it's got the one inch, the whole inches, and then the half inches. So depending on what project you're working on or what you need, I do think it's really nice. They put a lot of thought into this. And something that I think is really nice, it does have the hole right here so that you can hang it up. And of course, it is a so tight ruler, so it has magnets built right into it. There are six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So these really don't mean anything right now, but as soon as we add it to the magnetic cutting mat, that's when it's really gonna come into play. So let's bring that cutting mat back out and try it out. So the whole idea of the sew tight cutting system is that it all works together. We have the mat, we have the ruler, and then we're gonna bring out the sew tights boosters, the, the magnets in just a minute. But if you don't even use those, the idea is that there's magnets here inside the ruler and then immediately you can feel it. I, I wish you could feel what I'm feeling. The best way I could describe it is it's almost like, kind of like Velcro when you, Put Velcro together, it's like, you know, it, it connects, but you can still rip it off. You know, it's kind of like that. So I'm able to real, again, I'm, I gotta say so far, the thing I'm most impressed about is this beveled ruler. But when you lift this up just slightly, I can feel the magnet here. I think this is the one that's really holding it down. And then I can feel this one. Like I can feel it clinging to the, the mat, which is really great. I can see how this is gonna be really helpful. Um, for cutting. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's, let's get some fabric here and just do some cutting. Now the idea is that, let's just say I'm just going to just do a couple of three inch cuts here, but of course you want to have the magnets on the mat because that's what's pulling them together. The, the mat itself has metal inside that's holding it. So I'm just going to line this up and we're just going to try and do three inch cuts. Yeah. And I can see that it definitely clings down. It's just 
like suctioning. <laughs> I mean, it's magnets, right? But it just kind of like pulls together. It's really kind of cool, the feeling of it. But it's not so much that I can't move it. So if I needed to adjust this, I'm able to do that. But it definitely holds it down for sure, a little bit more secure. So let's just do a cut and see. Yeah, really nice. I mean, it definitely is doing what it's supposed to do. It's holding the material. Now, when I'm doing a bunch of cuts, I know that like I want to cut and then I kind of like move my material to make sure that it's it's moved. So I like that. And yeah, we've got our cut. So I have to say, really impressed with how it's holding down. And it holds down, but I'm still able to maneuver it really nicely. And again, it's got the magnets that's holding to the cutting mat, but I'm still able to move it just a little. So here, I'm just going to like kind of nudge the bottom. So I'm able to move it. I'm able to lift it up easily. So it's not so connected that I can't release it. But now let's introduce the So Tights boosters and let's see how much more secure it, it adds the ruler to the fabric and everything, especially when we're working with some more unique materials. So let's add the boosters now. Okay, so here are the So Tights boosters and they are all, you know, basically become best friends now. And I have to figure out where and how I'm gonna store them because I'm probably not gonna use the box to store this. I'm probably just gonna keep it out on my cutting space um, or it's, you know, maybe slide behind my cabinet where I keep all my other uh, cutting rulers and things like that. But I'm gonna have to figure out a place to put the actual boosters. So I'm thinking right now, like for now, I'm gonna probably just kind of keep them in this little dollar store container, but I would like to find something a little more clever. I might make something to put them in, but I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on. We're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna like attempt to cut a three inch strip. And now these so tight boosters are super duper strong magnets that are designed to go onto either the fabric or a template or you, another ruler or of course the so tights ruler um, pattern pieces I mean really all kinds of things especially with thicker materials so I mean, we're just using cotton right now but I just wanted to show you how strong they are like you can hear it so here don't say anything <laughs> you can really hear it and really snap in when they get over the magnets that are on the so tight ruler so really extra strong I think that the biggest my my first initial concern would be where to put my hand but I think that's not going to be a problem yeah because like I'm so used to doing this where my hand goes over it anyways that these are actually kind of like the perfect size and I have little bitty hands so I feel like if you have larger hands too it's going to even probably be even easier but I have little hands and the way that my hand is sitting like this the boosters don't even touch my hand so it's laying really nice. So I don't think there's going to be a problem with that. And yeah, for sure, it definitely holds it. Now, I'm not convinced that I would be able to cut without my hands on there. And I'm not even really sure why I would do that. But I guess just for giggles, let's go ahead and see what happens. So I'm going to find my three inch mark. And I'm not going to hold the ruler just because out of curiosity, I want to see how it does. Okay. I mean, hey, I'm kind of impressed. Again, not that I would need to do that, but there might be times where you're working around like a template where you can't get your hand in an area, but that definitely is really cool. So now let's talk about um, with thicker materials. And so let me, let me get some thicker material now. Okay, so I have some Minky, which is a really beautiful, lush material. Now, traditionally, the proper way of cutting this is to actually cut from the wrong side and to cut the mesh material itself and not cut the fur. Um, I do have a couple of tricks on how to cut this in other videos. I'll link that in the description below. There's a bunch of great sewing hacks that you can use to cut material like this. And I don't see why we couldn't merge the two, but today I am just gonna focus on the actual sew tights cutting system so that we can just show exactly how that's gonna work. But again, the first thing is, I'm just gonna say, let's just kinda of stick with that three inch strip that I've been cutting. First things first, for sure, as soon as I lay this down, I can feel it. But because it's thicker, there is actually a gap underneath the ruler. The ruler is not touching the cutting mat. You know what I mean? Like, so I'd have to push down here. So I'm gonna really 
go ahead and take advantage of the So Tight's boosters because I feel like I'm going to need them for sure with this thick material. So I'm going to put those on there and then same thing as before, I can feel, I definitely feel like it's on there more. I'm not sure if I can, yeah, I don't think this is going to do anything putting that there, maybe there, but there's like a quarter of an inch gap between the ruler and the cutting mat. So I'm not, I'm just going to not worry about it. I'm just going to cut it as is. Yeah, for sure. It definitely helps then not having these on here. I don't know that, that I think I would probably definitely resort to using the boosters when cutting thicker material like this, or if you're working with quilting material and you're cutting down, or maybe if you're making like a bag and you've quilted the material and you're going to cut it. But yeah, I think for sure those definitely help. All right, now I got to clean up my mess and then I'll come back and we'll do another cutting. Another one of the things that the Sew Tights folks say it's really helpful for is cutting templates or pattern pieces and also with difficult materials like a stretchy knit, you know, so like a knit material, which for sure I would probably put my pattern pieces down and I would pin, but I thought I would give this a try. Um, I also wanted to talk about how they mentioned that you can also use other Sew Tights pieces. So the ones that came to mind were the larger ones and there's the Sew Tights HD, which are probably one of my favorites that I use. And I mean, I've got a video on this. I'll have it linked in the description on basically what these do, but these are a two piece magnetic system. And so instead of using pins with something for sewing, but um, I also use them for machine embroidery. But anyways, it's mentioned that you could use these with the whole system. So let's say that you've got your pattern piece laid out and you're going to cut around that. But I started thinking, well, as I'm cutting around this, I might bump into the actual booster. So I, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I will say that this is something that's, you know, it's low profile. So there are two pieces to it. I'm going to remove the metal part and then just snap it down. So, and then the larger ones, the magnums, these are really for quilters uh, to use for um, attaching their, their leader. Uh, without straight pins. So, I mean, again, I'm not a quilter, but I've used these for other projects myself, um, like longer things using with cork material and stuff. But I wanted to just kind of touch to the point where you could use these. Now, my only complaint though, is I know when I was trying to pick it up, it kind of just wants to move around. I'm not able to like lift it up. And that's where I would use the other metal piece. As soon as I put that underneath there, I'm able to clamp onto it with the, the, the magnet part and it, it popped right up. So I did wanted to mention, I did want to mention that because I had seen a couple of people talk about that. So now let's get back to using the boosters to do our cutting. Now I'm going to say one of my favorite things about this cutting system so far is I, I like the size of it. It's not huge. I mean, a, a bigger cutting mat isn't always better because I don't really have a great big sewing space. So I'm going to say that I kind of like the idea that I can rotate it as well. So I can rotate it to suit my needs because like, as you can see, I've had surgery. I've had surgery in both my hands, three different places. So my hands are very weak to begin with, and I just kind of need all the help I can get. So one of the advantages of, of doing this kind of cutting is that it's just less fatigue on your hand. However, I have to make sure that I'm always cutting in the straight direction. As soon as I try to articulate my hand, I have pain. So I got to avoid the pain. So I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt to take advantage of the cutting system to my favor by moving the mat too. So we're just going to cut around this, but like right now, I mean, my instincts are to go like this, but that's going to, you know, it's going to hurt my hand too much. So I'm literally going to move the mat around to suit my needs. And the fact that it is small enough to do that to me is kind of a bonus. I like that very much. And because it's, it's like heavier, it's not moving all over the table too. I have to say that's another thing that I was, um, I was a little worried about it being like, you know, moving and stuff. All right, so there we go. 
I'm going to rotate this around so we can take a look at it. But yeah, I'm kind of digging the idea that it's small enough and yet it's got heft to it. So like other cutting mats, I can spin around. The problem though is they'll like squish. Like I can move this one obviously, but it, it takes a little effort. So yeah, I really kind of like the idea of using the, the boosters with the cutting mat and taking advantage of the fact that I can rotate it around. So even if I was doing something a little bit larger, like a bodice front, you know, my bodice front would definitely fit on here and I'd be able to, you know, cut, cut, rotate and cut. So yeah, I really like the idea that I can do that too. Another material that I personally do a lot of cutting on is also cork. I use it for a lot of my in the hoop projects for machine embroidery. And when I'm cutting, I just usually need a small amount, but I will say that sometimes it wants to shift. And so this is one of the materials that was referenced by using with this system. And immediately, as soon as I put this down, like there's no distance between the ruler and the mat. It is nice and snug. I'm, you know, if I move my material, I'm, I'm really having to pull on it to get it to move. But it's interesting. The <laughs> It's funny. I just noticed as I'm pulling this material, watch what's happening. The ruler is staying right where I want it to. <laughs> so, hey, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, so let's say that I want to do my, you know, three inch strips here that I've been cutting. And here, let's just see if that does. It. Yeah, it does it again. OK, so that shows you the strength of the ruler and the cutting mat system together. So. That is kind of cool. All right, so let's just, same thing. I can hold it here. I can add the boosters if I feel like I need to. Um, and then I would cut the same way with my hands like this. So if you're worried like, oh, are these gonna get in the way? Nope, they're not because your hands are like this anyways. So just cutting with no problem, but I'm also gonna say that it pretty much stays where it's supposed to, so yeah. Very pleased with the way that this haul works together. Definitely well thought out. So some of the benefits for you are the system is available for right or left handed. You definitely want to make sure you order the right system. The next would be slipping fabric while cutting. You're not going to have that problem anymore because of the way the ruler and the mat all work together. And then I have to say another one is just having more accurate cuts. Being able to not worry about it slipping is going to allow you to be more accurate. And of course, cutting out patterns and templates without pins. I mean, come on, this right here by itself is really great. And again, the ability to move the mat around to suit my needs is fantastic. Another would be less fatigue for just your body in general with having this system all work together is going to put less strain on your body. And for sure, hand issues, if you have any. I've had tendonitis surgery and ganglion cysts and I have arthritis. So I have a lot of pain in my hands for cutting. Sometimes I'm in so much pain that I'm actually in tears. So I have to say this system already, I can see a promise of not being in such pain. Another would be if you have any shoulder issues. I mean, I'm at either a computer or a sewing machine. That's where I'm at because I run a business selling sewing patterns. So I have to say that my shoulders are always in pain and this, the fatigue is just not gonna be there and cutting is going to be a pleasure. And another thing is I like to be able to sit sometimes while I'm cutting and this is gonna give me the ability to do that because the ruler is so strong with the cutting system. And lastly is the price. It retails for $374.99. Now I am able to offer you a 15% discount. So if this is something that you're interested in, every bit helps, right? So go ahead and follow the link in the description and there's a little coupon code that will help give you a discount. That discount will actually give you a 15% discount across the board. So if this isn't something that you're gonna get right now, certainly check it out. But if not, there's other things that the So Tight folks have come up with. So be sure to check that out. You know, and as far as price, I know this is kind of a hefty ticket item, but I just have to say that for me, and I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, I, I live a very modest life. I live in an apartment. I drive a 15 year old car, but I have really nice sewing stuff. So, I mean, we all spend our money on different things. So let's not be too judgmental. These ladies have done an amazing job bringing something very clever to market. So let me know in the comments, is this something that you're interested in? Is it something that's out of your price range? Is it something that you're gonna start saving for? But aside from the money, I want you to let me know in the comments, 
what was it that really was like, oh, that's cool, or like your aha moment? So let me know those things in the comments below and share this video with your friends, like it, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I can't wait to show you the next things coming up in the future, so be sure to subscribe for sure. And until I see you next time, I hope you have a creative day. Bye-bye.